Good morning. Good morning. So, it's Carla Nicole, your coach. I'm back at it again. I wanted to talk about something that I think is very important. This morning, um, I think that we must really focus on our negativity. I know it's not easy <laughs> because we really don't want to admit it, but we have a tendency to get negative really quick. Um, for those of you that, that watch me, you know a lot of times I like to talk about the Polaroid picture, right? So I talk about the Polaroid picture because <laughs> it's very, very um, unique that the Polaroids were so um, exciting to do, but yet they were so much of a hassle to deal with. What I mean by that is when we wanted to have a, a Polaroid picture, man, we would be excited. We couldn't wait. We'd take the picture. But man, the wait for that thing on picture to develop took forever. We would do everything in our power to hurry it up. We would shake it and we'd walk away from it and go right back to it to see if it's developed yet and all of these things. So the Polaroid picture is very, very unique with the way real life really is. I mean, you're not going to get everything developed overnight or in a, in a quick second. It takes a while for things to develop, right? Same thing happens with negativity. Um, but what I wanted to, why I wanted to bring up the uh, analogy that I bring up a lot with the Polaroid picture is that when it comes down to negativity it doesn't happen overnight either but our negative thoughts start off very very small <laughs> very small a lot of times they start off so small that we don't even realize we're being negative um, and what we do in our negativity usually we don't want to admit we do certain things because we want to feel like we're in control right so in our negative thoughts they are oftentimes developed in our dark, darkest darkest moments and the moments that are dark don't even have to be that big prime example if we're upset with someone we care about and they don't call us back boy we get negative don't we <laughs> we get real upset real quick for instance we can have uh, our child or our lover or our mate just sit there and, and not call us back when we are expecting them to call us back and we will get lit up real quick like mad as hell right and then we start to running all kinds of thoughts in our minds as to why they're not calling us back now are the thoughts real yes but are the thoughts true we don't know we just automatically start running in our mind what we think that they're doing or not doing and we really get upset with the fact that they're not calling us back when, when we think they should. So then when they finally call us back, what's the first thing we do? I'm not answering the phone. It took them that long to call me back. They said they were going to call me back at this time. They didn't call me back until this time. And to me, that is disrespectful and blah, 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 blah. And we get all upset over when someone doesn't do something that we expect them to do, right? Especially if, we're, if it's somebody we care about. So I wanted to use that as a small example because that small example is really imperative to understanding why negative thoughts become more grandiose the longer we allow these feelings and thoughts to just get in the way of our peace okay so when we are constantly focused on something negative it's taking away from being positive it's taking away from our peace of mind okay so it's imperative that we sit down and we start to pay attention man i'm upset that that person didn't show up or I'm upset that, that person didn't call me or I'm upset that this happened but before we go into all the reasons we're upset right we just start getting angrier and angrier and angrier by the minute and we don't even realize that that negativity is just building and building and building and by the time somebody calls you you automatically have a negative issue with them so now 
when you would normally have a great rapport with them calling you now you have a negative attitude because they didn't call you when you said you was going to call me back and i thought you would duh, 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 and you know you're all in your feelings right this is imperative that we start to pay attention to this is a self-love act when we don't start to be honest with self that we have issues that grow and grow and grow in our being especially when it comes to someone not doing what we feel they should be doing or, or they're doing things that we don't expect them to do or we expect them to do we begin to get upset and we get upset because we don't like the fact that they're not doing what they said they were going to do number one or number two we feel like they're prioritizing someone else or something else over us or whatever the issue is that is what we need to sit down and focus on and journal about and work through in our own in our own being in our own soul because when we don't all this negativity starts to stack up and we begin to become a negative person it then becomes a part of who we are it then becomes our our now our new our new mannerism and it really is not that becoming number one and number two it's really taking away from your your peace and that's what we should all really be striving to have which is peace a peaceful life and being excited for life but we can't be that if all we're focusing on is negative things the reason why I say we got to catch them when they're small is because when we don't they get more and more penetrated into other areas of our life so for example if I'm angry and upset that for instance my daughter or my son doesn't call me back now I have a attitude that has now created me into this old, a whole new stink in my being right so now that I'm stinky someone may speak to me or someone may you know another issue may come up that I'm not happy about and now I have to figure out oh no I have this mishap that's going on and now I'm upset with not only my son or daughter didn't call me back but now I'm upset because now this new issue has come up so now I'm doubly angry because of not dealing with the negative issue I had earlier so now <laughs> the very thing that I was negative about with my daughter or my son is now a new negative towards someone that I don't even know because of a circumstance or a situation that I had no control over and now I'm expecting that I wanted this to be a certain way and now I'm upset about this doubly upset because I'm still not dealing with the fact I was upset that I didn't get a call back right so that happens and now because now I have not really dealt with the fact that I have issues with my own focus of negativity that now I am now having a negative attitude so now I'm my mannerism is negative and so now <laughs> since I have a negative attitude guess what that grows into now it grows into just being completely and totally a negative person so now I have developed into a negative being because I did not deal or cope with my beginning stages of negativity, which was my issue with the fact that I expected my son or daughter to call me back or my lover to call me back or my friend to call me back. They did not. They did not do what I thought they should have done or whatever, what have you. And now I'm upset. I'm angry. But in that anger, what has it, what has it now done? Now it has shifted not just being angry about that but now I'm angry in my attitude and then not only am I angry about that now I've become negative now I'm a negative person so now for the rest of the day or week or months or years I cannot get more positive because I've stayed lit I've stayed locked in being upset about something I have no control over this is a part of loving yourself you have to start looking and paying attention to when you are negative or when you have negative thoughts that you don't start doing negative actions at the end because negative actions what happens is we start to being very ignorant we start to get real nasty we get revengeful so you didn't call me back when you said you were gonna call me back so guess what when you do finally call me back I'm not answering the phone I'm, I'm not going to do this. I'm not going to do that. When they need me, I'm not going to be around or whatever would have you that you have in that issue, right? 
Hey, Alfred. So now you're going to have an issue because now you, your actions, you, you have now developed this negativity into an action and now your actions are now on some other level. And that person doesn't even understand why you're so angry or upset. Something came up or something beyond their control or they forgot. I mean, things happen, right? But when we don't sit down and start to really look through and look at our own issues with holding on to negative thoughts and not really paying attention to what is the source of my thoughts. Why am I this negative? You need to ask yourself that. Am I negative because I feel like my lover is prioritizing someone other than me? Am I negative because my kids are prioritizing their friends over me? Am I negative because my bestie has a new bestie and she's now spending more time over there and not calling me back when I want to talk? These are issues within your own being. These are issues you have got to work on. Or if you don't, your very negativity, when it was really small, will grow into becoming a very negative person out of new negative actions you're doing. So it's imperative that you check these in, even when they're small. Like if, if such and such didn't call you back, don't get upset. Don't get angry. Just be like, okay, they will call me when they have a chance. I don't know what they got going on. I can't take it personally. Problem why we take so many things personally is because we haven't dealt with some inner hurts that we are not willing to admit to. And when we don't admit to those hurts, we continue to have a negative attitude about things we that are beyond our control. I hope I'm helping you. <laughs> but this is real shit. If we don't get honest with self, we will continue to have these kind of negative things. One of the problems with negativity is that it can become an avalanche in your life of nothing but negative stuff happening all the time. For instance, I know of a person that there's always something going on, always something going on. I don't care if it's small, big, whatever, there's always something going on. And I'm like... You always have something going on negative. What is that about? Until I meditated this morning and I realized they really don't have peace. They spend a lot of time being absorbed in the unknown. And when you get absorbed in the unknown because you can't control it, you constantly spend your time angry about everything that's unexpected. Life is unexpected. The very next moment is unexpected. It is what it is. We have to deal with what is. But our attitude, our negative attitude is always the reason why any unexpected event that happens, we don't handle it well. And then we have issues in our love lives. I had, I had a, a, a person not too long ago ask, hey, how do I work on my negativity? I said, are you having sex? <laughs> well, you know, once or twice a week. It's like, aren't you married? Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm confused, baby girl. You can't, you can't ask me to help you with your negativity and your real humdrum about your sex life. Really? <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. We want what we want, but understand as long as you're not being intimate with your partner or with your lover, you're going to continue to feel very under, under, uh, undermined. You're going to feel very aggravated all the time with your man or whatever. If you're not intimate, you got to have sex people. <laughs> That's another reason why negativity is so big and supreme in your life when you don't sit down and be honest with self. You got to make some love, people. This has to happen in order to get out of your negative attitudes. It's what it is. Again, I know I went off on another tangent, but this is real when it comes to negativity. It's imperative. 
one of the things I teach my clients, I said, are you, do you know what sex is good for in your life? A lot of people have no clue. They don't know what, they don't know what benefits come from sex. It's like, really? <laughs> but you want me to help you with your negativity, but you have a whole husband at home and you're not, you're not sexing him, but once or twice a week. No, that's not how this works. <laughs> Everything that is has been given to us nature-wise is here for a reason. Everything. Vegetables, plants, all of that. A mate or people that you're involved with or whatever. Your kids, all of this has a purpose, people. If you really want to have a more positive life, you've got to start doing positive for you. And first of all, you have to make sure that you are loving self. And one of the biggest reasons we're not loving ourselves is because we're not honest with ourselves. We will have all kinds of negative attitudes and play all kinds of movies in our head that we are mad about this and mad about that. And when he calls me and when she calls, I'll tell you what I'm going to say and all this stuff we got in our head. <laughs> But then we want to have a positive life. It doesn't match. I don't care how that one person I told you that always has something going on. It's always something. Always something. This is going on. And this is going on. And oh my God. It's like, do you ever sit down and just really look at the fact that the attitude you have in your soul, your negative attitude, is impacting your peace, your lack of peace in your life. I'm just asking <laughs> because if you don't stop getting caught up in every unexpected event that happens in your life, it's always going to be a negative undertone in your being and you're going to forever be negative. You're never going to have peace. Everything's going to be all blown out of proportion. You're going to always be upset, always angry, always mad, always. Uh, 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 uh. I'd never have, I'd never get, I'd never win, I'd never this. That's going to be forever your dialogue because you won't allow yourself to really be true in fixing what negativity and negative thoughts are in here. It's what we pay more attention to that we spend most of our time being so bogged down with until we sit down and we really sit down and start to work through our own negative thoughts. We will continue to, continue to have negative things going on. And every time something negative happens, we're going to forever be <laughs> aggravated and agitated. That's what it is. Another thing about negatives, if you pay attention to film, you'll know that negatives develop in the dark. I'm just saying. So in order to get beyond that, we have to sit back and say, hold on a minute. Let me... <laughs> under bring these negatives to the light so I can get more positive because if I don't I'm going to constantly be negative and angry and upset and frustrated about everything that I can't control if you need help with this if you're just so tired of the negative negativity and you're trying to get out of the negative attitude you first have to be willing to do the work and the first thing of doing the work means you got to be honest with you if you know for a fact that all you do is get upset about this and upset about that and mad about this and you just can't handle things when, when, when you don't expect them to happen in this lifetime, there is no real, I mean, everything that's going on in your life was unexpected in the beginning. You didn't know. You didn't know a lot of things. You, hell, we don't even know if we create a child until six weeks later. <laughs> Yeah, most mothers don't even know they're going to become one until six weeks later. And sometimes longer than that if she's not showing nothing. I didn't show with my daughter till I was six months. I knew, of course, before that. But what if ultrasounds and, and, and uh, other things weren't in place? I would have been easily uh, walking around unsure that I was going to be a mother soon. We... Our whole life is unexpected. <laughs> Nothing is guaranteed in this lifetime. 
we've got to get out of this thinking of we're going to control everything. I'm going to control this. I'm going to control that. You can't control everything in your life. You can hope certain things will happen, but we got to deal with what is. And that was a message that came from my father. He kept telling me, deal with what is. And I thought, really? It hits different now. He's right. You got to deal with what is. Not what you hope it to be. Not what you wish it to be. You got to hope, you got to deal with what is right now. What, what am I dealing with? And then not be so negative about it. Is this a lesson or is this a blessing? Is this a lesson or a blessing? I need to know that. But I won't know that if everything I do or everything that happens to me is all negative. Oh, everything's bad. This is not good for your love of self. I'm telling you now, it's not good for you. I'm going to get to my date with myself here, but I wanted to share with you to please reach out to me if you find yourself always negative or you know of someone always negative. Share this video, let them watch it. Talk to them, tell them to reach out to me and get some coaching because the reality is, all that negativity isn't going to just up and go away. You have to be real intentional about changing your thoughts. Because really, like I said, your negative thoughts turns into negative issues and then which turns into negative attitude, which then turns into just being negative, period. And until you advance out of this negative mindset you're going to continue to focus on being negative all the time i'm just saying i hope you guys have a great monday take care guys you need a coach text me help me coach at 844-594-7366 and i will take care of you all right i'm signing off guys it's carla nicole best kept